What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about how you can maneuver over the solo section of Samson and Delilah. So let's go. Cool. So today's video is an old school type video on the channel in which we're focusing on playing the changes. And the song we'll be looking at today is the Grateful Dead's Samson and Delilah. Right. We'll look at the chord progression and the groove that happens beneath the solo, as well as identifying how we can approach the solo and three licks that you can use when you play the song in your cover band or whatever. So first things first, let's check out this groove, which is really, really fun. Right. What makes this groove really work, in my opinion, is this cadence, or you can call it like a resolution, from the five to the one chord, this D to G, specifically because of the F sharp G. Right. So check this out. G, C, G. G, D, G, right? F sharp, G. Voice leading. Really cool. Awesome. So next up, let's identify what scale we'll be using to cover this song. And if you guessed G minor pentatonic, you are correct, right? But we're going to be modifying it just a slight bit. But first things first, as the viewer, right? I preach a lot that you should be able to know all your positions of your minor pentatonic scale. In this case, G minor pentatonic, right? The more positions you know, the more freedom you have, and you won't necessarily be thinking where to go. The song will carry you, and you'll know how to build up a solo, right? Now, I did mention we will modify this scale, because remember, we're still playing a major progression under it. So to make the scale work, we'll raise this minor third degree, this B flat, to the major three, right? A B natural. And then to hear the cadence, we'll also approach this F sharp to G resolution throughout the solos, right? Nothing crazy. And we can take that same ideas and we can move it up to if we want 10th fret of the A string. We have G, B flat, which we can bend to B, C, D. Right? Same idea. Right. 
really, really cool way to hear that resolution, which is awesome. So we looked at already our groove. We looked at our scale. Right? I'll switch up here if you want. Now let's take a look at three licks that you all can use when you solo over the song. Lick number one. Let's check it out. Cool, hey? I'm also using the Cornerstone Gladio for overdrive now. One more time. Very minor pentatonic bass, but again, we're hitting this B natural, the micro bend from B flat, and then F sharp, G, right? So first we're bending the C on the 17th fret of the G string up one whole step to a D, right? Then grabbing this F below it. Resolving to C. D, C, B. Right? So really all chord tones. Again. Then we're going to do. Is our ending? Right? B, G, F sharp, D, F sharp, G. Right? Hopefully you can see that. So, all of it together. One more time. Lick number one. Lick number two. A bit faster and a bit more complex. Check this out. One more time. Now, the main, I guess, goal with this one is cleanliness, right? You don't want really any excess noise, and you want to be really articulate when you hit the notes. And this lick is really focusing on descending G major pentatonic, or just G major, really. Right? D, C, B, A, C, B. Right, you get that bend? G, 
E, D, F sharp. Time slow. At speed. See, that one was messy. No good. You can also end it by doing this little dyad. D, G, right? Gives it a bit more weight. Let's check out lick number three now. Lick number three. One more time. One more time, a bit slower. So essentially, the same lick, one octave lower, and then resolving with the cadence. Dun, ba, ba. Right? So, part one is really, I'm just bending up this F to G. Without that, we're just descending minor pentatonic. G, F, D, C, D. Slide bend up from B flat to B. Right? Then I'm doing that one octave lower. Together. Then ending. Time slower. Oops. <laughs> and those were your Three licks for Samson and Delilah. Let's check them out in context over a quick jam.
right, guys, that is today's video on how we can approach the solo section of Samson and Delilah with the minor pentatonic, a bit modified, right, with that flat three bent up a bit to that major third and that F sharp to G resolution and put it all together and you're soloing just like Garcia or Mayer. <laughs> and like the Grateful Dead say, never miss a Sunday show because Samson is usually a Sunday show song. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.